Um, today we're going to pick up where we left off and uh, move on to multiple alleles. Oh, mutant genes before we move on. Um, so multiple alleles are just that. Multiple alleles um, means that a trait is determined by more than one allele um, per gene. And the uh, blood typing system that we have is a perfect example of that. And let me explain that just a little bit here. Um, the blood typing um, system includes many different um, parts and pieces. Um, the first thing to recognize is that um, these multiple alleles um, are um, evidenced in the protein coat on the outside of the red blood cell. So there's an allele for um, protein A. And that protein is on the outside of um, every red blood cell that is blood type A. There's also an allele for protein B. And that is on the outside of every red blood cell with B type blood. There is another genotype for uh, people who have type AB blood, and they have both the A allele and the B allele coding for the protein A and B on the outside of the red blood cell. And then there's a third, okay, and here's where it gets to the multiple allele part. There's a third allele called little i. And that allele um, codes for a message that says, do not make A or do not make B. And um, so there's really allele A, allele B, and allele little i. And those alleles can um, have, remember they, they go in, um, they go in with, every one has two alleles in, of those three. So A could be bonded, or not bonded, but A could be paired with another big A. It could also be um, paired with a B. And it can also be paired with a small case I. Yeah? Um, don't, don't, isn't blood type uh, code for my uh, main genes along with the uh, A and B and the A and B and the O? Let me, an let me answer that after, after this part right here. So likewise, with the B allele, B could be paired with another B allele. Uh, B could also be paired with A, which is equal to this. These are the same thing. Or B could be paired with a small case I. Okay. The small I can be paired with another small I. It could be paired with an A, or it could be paired with a B. Um, so there really is six different possibilities. Um, and in this whole system, you have to realize that A and B um, are dominant over little i. Remember, little i codes for no protein. So if you have the A allele or the B allele, you'll have blood type A or B. You also have to realize that 
A is something called codominant to B. That is, A equals B, and it's codominant. What that means is, um, and we'll get to this more in a bit, but if the A allele is there and the B allele is there, it'll be both A and B. One is not dominant over the other. Okay? So if we write out the genotypes, and the phenotypes of these ABO systems, we can say that AA and AI are people with blood type A. Likewise, BB and B, I are people with B type blood. People with the genotype AB are blood type AB. And people with the genotype little i, little i are blood type O. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six genotypes coding for four phenotypes. Okay. Now if we go back and look at this chart, one of the important things that we want to realize is that um, blood type O is a universal donor and blood type AB is a universal recipient. What that means is that somebody who has blood type O can donate to anybody with no harmful reactions on the part of the receiver. Likewise, somebody who is blood type AB can get blood from anybody with no harmful effects. However, if somebody has blood type A and they try by or they mistakenly get blood type B or blood type B person gets A or AB, um, that, that person will be in a life-threatening situation um, because um, they have antibodies circulating in their body, blood type B, antibodies to A, and blood type A people have antibodies to B that will defend themselves um, against those blood types. And it's, you know, it's a serious problem if you get the wrong blood type. Okay, so that is the basics of how multiple alleles and codominance um, kind of go together in forming um, the blood type system that we have. And this blood coding system is one of several types, including the RH factor and plus minus um, that go into um, making our blood, blood system the what it is today. Okay? All right, questions?